Hello guys, in this video we will see how to migrate PostgreSQL databases from on-premises to Azure database for PostgreSQL. Okay, which means Azure Cloud. Okay, so first we will install PostgreSQL on on-prem machine that is on Ubuntu machine. Then we will create the Azure database for PostgreSQL. Then we will create the Azure data migration service which is used to from on-prem to Azure Cloud. Okay, connect to Ubuntu machine, copy the URL, paste it, open, then provide the username. Username is a user of this. Now install the PostgreSQL. Go to the PostgreSQL official website. Click on Linux, Ubuntu, then copy line by line. See, if you install, ignore these steps. See, if you have the PostgreSQL on your on-prem server, then no need to perform these steps. This is my Ubuntu machine where PostgreSQL is installed. So this will be the on-prem server. sudo su slash l. See, I don't have any user database. Let me create create some table here. insert some data into this table or else connect this PostgreSQL from the pgadmin. Copy the host name, go to pgadmin, right click on service, register server, then provide the name pg on prim 12 Ubuntu, which means on on prim the PostgreSQL is 12, it is installed on Ubuntu name can be anything then provide the host name of the machine in your case it may be localhost or any other thing okay set the password for the first user alter user alter user postgres with password then click on save See, if you receive this unable to connect server connection time load, then go to pghva.config. So, hva file. See, see, this is the file. Let me quit from this one. vi, then give the file name. Scroll down at the end. Shift key, enter host all. Then provide your IP. IP is my IP is what is my IP address? What is my IP address? Copy. Copy it. Go there. Paste here. U32 MD5. Save the file, then connect to PSQL, then run select pg underscore load underscore con. It is pg underscore reload. Okay. Hit enter. See two means it is success. Now click on save. 
I have see I have connected to my on prem PostgreSQL from the PG admin. Okay, let me go to this database, verify the tables, schema tables. See, we have one table. Let me verify the data in this table. Select it, execute it. I don't have any data. Let me insert some rows. Insert. Okay, there are two rows in this table. Okay, now we will create Azure. Database for PostgreSQL. Okay, go to the Azure portal, then search for Azure Database for PostgreSQL. Click on the first one that is Azure Database for PostgreSQL Flexible Server. Click on Create Azure Database for PostgreSQL Flexible Server. Then select the type of subscription resource group name. I am going with this one because okay, then server name, provide the server name. I am giving server name as AZ14 PG server. Okay, so I am going to install PostgreSQL 14 on this one. Select it, region, VSist, workload. I am going with the development. See if it is production, you have to select the production, but you have to keep the estimated total cost per month in mind. Okay, so for this demo, I am going with the development, but any of these workload types, the process is same. Computer and storage, I am going with the defaults. See, if you don't know how to create this Azure database for PostgreSQL, then go through the link provided in the video description and set up this. Okay. Click on networking, public access, add the IP, click on security, click on tax, click on review and create. I am going fast because I have already shared the link to create. This Azure database for PostgreSQL. Click on create. Now we have both on prem PostgreSQL server and Azure database for PostgreSQL. Okay. Let me see whether we connect to this on prem or Azure PostgreSQL. Copy this server name. Go to the PG admin. Right click on it. Server AZ PG 14. Provide the host name. Provide the password. Click on save. See, you have successfully connected. But I am going to create this after schools database in this on prem also because I am going to migrate this on prem after school database to this Azure database. So, right click on any one of them, click on query tool, then create database. Create database after schools. Select the text, click on create. Okay. So, now we have databases in on prem and Azure. Now we will see what are the parameters or settings that needs to be configured on on prem. Go to on prem. See, this is my on prem. Quit, exit, control L. First step we have to allow the listen addresses to all, which means we have to give the star. So we can configure that in postgresql.config. Even if you don't know where it is, sudo su hyphen postgres psql show config underscore file. See, this is the file slash q to fit vi enter. Even if you don't have access, give the sudo. Okay, it is an article. Yay. Then forward slash search for listen and hit enter. See. Here we have already set the listen addresses to star, which means all connections. Okay, so that is done. Next is see what of the parameters needs to be set on on prem. I will put those in the video description. Also, you can get them from Azure. Select the first link that is this one. Go to here. See here, these are the requirements. See, see, we have to set 
these values okay the first one is wall level maximum replication slots maximum wall centers and we must have to create the role that is replication role then we have to add this role in hba.com file okay first first we have seen how this listen address then we are going to set this wall level equals to logical okay wall underscore level see this is the parameter replace this with logical see the spelling logical then search for max underscore replication slots see this is the option so uncomment this one see these are the recommended but i am giving as for this one only it is up to you okay i am going to give five replace this 10 with five then we have to set this max wall centers okay go up uncomment this one see documentation it is saying you can set up to 10 tasks okay i'm going to keep that 10. then save this one and hit enter see we have set the server level configuration so we must so we must start the we must restart the postgresql server so exit from postgres user then sudo system ctl restart postgresql we have successfully restarted next we have to create this replication role on the server posting source data here source is on prem so create it by going to by running the command see this is the command create role this is the role name and username okay and we are going to grant these privileges so i'm going to copy this one i will keep this command in the video description go to the go to on prem server connect to postgresql or simply you can run this command in pg admin also okay this is the on prem okay go to this on prem right click on it query tool paste it provide the password put semicolon it will throw error we run this it will throw error because i have to give single quotes or double quotes for the password okay select it and execute see we have successfully created replication rule it is success we can verify here also slash do see we have the replication user okay so we have to which we can file okay also grant postgres to this user grant postgres to this user that is this role that is this one paste it select it execute it it's done again i am saying i will keep all these comments in the video description like these options and this link also okay go to pg underscore hba dot com file so hba file see this is the file just copy it quit vi paste it go at the bottom shift a to insert first replication all 0 dot 0 dot I want to allow this user from anywhere so md5 authentication type or authorization authorization type and save the file connect to postgresql we are already in postgres user so psql select pg underscore reload underscore con put semicolon at the end and hit enter t means it is success okay next third step also we have complete next we have to migrate the schema from on prem to target okay copy this one 
enter i will keep okay here host name is source one okay here source one is minus remove this host name with my host name see this is my dns name so paste here then username username is postgres db name see i want to migrate this r to school so your r to school hyphen s means schemas so provide the name that is output file okay select this command copy it in your case you have in your case you have to replace this host name database name for which you want to migrate then go to the shell paste it and hit enter it will just copy the definitions see it is saying this entry is not there so you have to add so sudo su you just need to add this ip okay hit enter scroll down shift a to insert post all or you simply you can give the login name also see i made one mistake for this replication user we have to give the replication user name hyphen i copy the replication user name see this is the user name copy it and paste here then save the file see we have added replication user and we have added the this error ip okay so save the file if you don't receive it it's okay then exit then run this pg dump command to take backup of schemas Hit enter after modifying anything we have to reload the hpa file okay sudo su postgres psql select pg underscore reload underscore conf exit again exit now run that one see we have to provide the password of this user i am giving the password of on prem postgres user it is success let me verify see file is created more then verify see we have the schema information next step is next step is we have to create the database in target server I have already created. See here, I have. All. See, if you are unable to find, click on refresh. I have already created database in target server. If you want, just create that. Then we have to restore this schema back up to this target server. So command is psql hyphen h host name. Here host name is target one. Target one is this is the one. Copy it. Paste here hyphen caps u. Postgres hyphen D take provide the database name. Then less than symbol. Then give this file. Copy it. Okay. Copy it. Now go to this one. Verify whether tables are there or not. Expand it. Schemas public. Then tables. See, we don't have any tables. Even if you right click and refresh, you are unable to find any tables. Once we run this restore command, we will get the tables. Okay copy that command paste it and hit enter this will also throw error i will show you the solution for this see we got the connection failure error so we have to add the server ip or this machine ip in the target server okay so go to see this is the see this is the source one copy this ip then go to the target one click on networking then here my ip give any name that is fine paste it again paste it then click on save then we have to click on this also you must select this allow public access from any ser azure service within azure to this server okay settings are saved i guess yeah not saved yeah it is saved now now go to shell and run the same above command that is restoration hit enter See now it is asking password. Provide the password. 
hit enter see it is success now go to pg admin refresh see that schema is copied to here so there is only one table it is copied okay now next step is go to the documentation see we have completed these steps now the next step is we have to create the azure database migration service Op open azure portal in another tab then search for azure database migration services click on this azure database migration services see i don't have any service click on create or click on create azure database migration service both are same click on it select the source type source is here is postgres and target is azure data postgres equal okay see this is the target okay so see then click on select then select the resource group name if you don't have a resource group you have to click on here then select the location c location is us east also go back to flexible server go to resource c mine also in us east it is better to select the same location or region then here service mode it is azure and price type you must select premium select premium then click on apply okay we have configured this basic settings then networking select the network from the available if you don't you have to create then click on next i'm not going to provide any tags click on review and create see it is giving some error for basics so i have to give the name for this service on prem on prem full version on ubuntu to az azure pg 14 then click on net next 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 click on create if you okay with all these settings then click on create otherwise if you want to modify you have to click on this modify see this is the name for migration service okay now it is started this process may take from 5 to 20 or 30 minutes see deployment is completed click on go to resource now we have to click on this new migration project click on it here provide the name for the project so i am giving name as pg on 12 on frame 2 az pg 14 then source is postgresql then target is azure database for postgresql then we have create project only or online data migration so i want to migrate so select the first one then click on create and run activity now we have to provide the source server name source server name is this is the one copy it paste here in your case provide your source source server name that is on prem server port number 5432 database postgres this is just connection information username also postgres password click on trust server certificate click on target it will throw error we have to give the the replication username let me show you see we failed to connect so we got the connection failure so we have to give this ip this is the ip of this service okay copy this one go to the source go to pghpa.com for sudo su postgres con file go, go to the end shift a post all username give the username also all then give the this ip copy this ip paste here give 32 md5 save the file connect to psql reload the configuration file reload con okay now i want to change the replication user that is this is the user provide the username copy it paste here provide the password select this 
trust server certificate and click on next that is select the target now we have to select the subscription then target see azure this is the server name see see here we have the same okay this is the azure first sql instance name okay database name anything here just we are giving here also we are giving the connection information username postgres provide the password then click on select databases see we got the connection attempt failed because of the connection did not properly respond after a period of time so check any connection connection act issues go to networking we must select this service then click on save it is success now go back to dms and click on close this one click on select databases now it will not throw error now we have to select the source databases see in the source i want to only migrate the sar to schools okay select it see if you have more databases you have to search here i have only these two one is this one okay also see here select the source and target database so, so source is r to schools target also same okay select from the drop down and if you have more databases you have to search from here okay then now we have selected the database now select the table so click on next then click on this r to schools database see we have only one table see here in source this is not source see this is a source database expense schemas tables we have one table okay minimize this one then select in your case you may have n number of tables so from the list you have to select all tables by clicking on this name or if you want to select particular tables you have to select the table names then click on configure migration settings expand this one again expand advanced c num maximum number of tables to load in parallel 5 this is the default if you want 5 you can give 5 or give any number based on this the process of the latency will be changed okay i'm going with the default one then click on summary see this is the summary so for this activity we have to provide the name so i'm giving on prem to az cloud postgres sql migration name can be anything okay see here once again before clicking on start migration see source this is the target server name and this is the version and here this is the source one and this is the source database version so we are migrating data from postgresql 12 to azure postgresql 14 okay the process is same for all the versions okay click on start migration see migration started let us go to see whether let me open new tabs again run this query select this query and run see we have these two rows in this table verify whether this data is migrated to azure process equal or not right click on database query window that is query tool then run select star from student select it execute see two rows migrated suppose if you insert one more row copy this one hit enter or not to provide the name execute it again execute this one it is success now go to this one verify click on it still it is not migrated wait a minute surely it will be migrated see it is online process no need to do anything just we have to wait still not done see data has been migrated again if you insert one more row insert insert it is done go back to target server again run the select query wait a moment see data is migrated okay so 
Now go to C. Click on this one. If you refresh this one, see here that ready to cut over. So if the activity completed, you have to click on stop migration. Click on it. Click on it. Click on database name. It is cancelled. Now if you run, if you now if you insert one more row, it won't be replicated to the other one. So again we have to go to refresh, retry, then we have to give the name, then click apply, then go to here, refresh, 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 click on this one, click on this one, then we have to run, see it is running, again if you run the, any comments, those will be replicated or migrated, ok, go back, go to service, task see this activity stopped so we have started new activity for the same servers or for the same source and target okay so if you want to delete this activity click on it select the delete activity check the checkbox click on delete go back click on it see that activity gone but still this is running now if you try to insert one more row insert it ok go to here run this one wait it will update see the latest record is successfully migrated so whatever the comments or the steps or the links that i use in this video are available in the video description no need to worry about anything so in this video we have successfully successfully migrated data from on-prem postgresql to azure database for postgresql server for more azure or cloud or postgresql server videos please subscribe my channel thank you